everybody, Protein Bar Review Guy here with another review of a bar. Today we have a Quest Bar. This one looks really good. What is this thing called? Chocolate, chocolate sprinkled donut. I'm excited, never, never even seen this one before. And look at the picture, look at the picture on that. That looks delicious. I'm curious if this bar looks anything like that. We'll see. All right, so before we get started, reach down, hit subscribe. If you like what you see, share it with a friend who you think uh, would be interested in getting you know, more educated information about the bars they eat. All right, we rank them here based on ingredients, protein content, macros, calorie count, taste, texture for an overall score of one through 10. All right, <clears throat> so let's check this thing out here. First off, let's get to the ingredient list. All right, it's a protein blend of milk protein isolate, whey protein isolate. That's good, good source of protein. All right, and then we get into the soluble corn fiber, almonds, water, erythritol, palm kernel oil, natural flavors, sodium caseinate, cocoa pressed with alkali, and then contains less than 2% of the following. Sea salt, beetroot powder, cabbage vegetable juice, beta carotene, annatto extract, carnauba wax, carnauba wax, gum arabic, sunflower lecithin, and stevia sweetener. All right, so that's that's really not that bad for a protein bar. Um, good source of protein, um, and then it goes into the soluble corn fiber, which uh, this bar has 14 grams of fiber. They're saying that's 50% of your fiber for the day, so um, watch out. Um, five grams of erythritol in this, which we know erythritol is another uh, sweetener that has a uh, a lot lower glycemic index than sugar. I think it's around two on the glycemic index. And then also at the end, they use a little bit of stevia sweetener. It's the last thing on the ingredient list. Uh, so stevia sweetener as well. So there is no acesulfame potassium, no aspartame, no sucralose. That's good. And there's no soy. They're using sunflower lecithin. Um, really, you know, the, the sketchiest thing I see in here is natural flavors because Apparently we're not allowed to know what natural flavors are. They don't want to share that with us. And the FDA is not holding them to the fire to tell us that. So good job, FDA. You know, really making these companies tell us what we're eating and putting it in our body. Good job. Um, okay. Um, they're using beetroot powder, which is good. That's good for your blood flow and uh, cabbage vegetable juice for color. Okay, uh, so ingredients, that's that's all really good stuff. Um, for Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna give this a nine. I think these ingredients are great. Let's look at the protein content. All right, we have 20 grams of protein, right where a bar should be. Uh, that's pretty good. So protein content, and this is in 190 calories, right where I think the calorie range should be for a bar, between 180 and 220. Um, so protein content for this, Yep, I'll give it a, I'll give it an eight for that. And all right, let's look at the macros now. For that 20 grams of protein, you're also getting 23 grams of carbs and eight grams of fat. Okay, so four calories per gram for protein. So out of this 190 calorie bar, you've got 80 calories of protein. So 110 of the other calories in this bar are from fat and carbs. Not necessarily a bad thing with the carbs because if you're chowing down on this thing right after a workout as you're walking out of the gym, you need the carbs. Start building your muscle glycogen again right after that workout. Um, but it is a little you know, lopsided as far as what I would like to see in a bar. I would like to see more protein than carbs, if not you know, even 20 and 20 grams. And then also the fat, eight grams of fat being a little high, um, <clears throat> a little high on the fat side for that. I think, um, I think the Costco bar we found was like three or four grams of, of fat, which was the best we found so far. Um, okay, so um, you know, protein content we gave it an eight. Macros, um, macros I'll give it a, I'll give it a six. I'll give it a six on macros. 
calorie count, 190 right where I think it should be. So we'll give it a, you know, a 10 for that. And all right, let's go down and see how this thing tastes. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They're trying to make it actually look like that chocolate sprinkled donut. And I noticed the smell, as soon as I open it, it smells like chocolate. Like, um, God, those horrible, what are they, like Little Debbie chocolate brownies, those things that you open up and they just smell like this awesome chocolate brownie. That's what this thing smells like. Um, it actually kind of smells like donut frosting. Interesting. definitely smelled better than it tasted I can tell you that that's um, I don't even know what that tastes like like my brain wants to tell me it tastes like chocolate because of the silky smoothness of the texture from that chocolate coating on the outside but that doesn't taste like chocolate it doesn't taste like a donut either it tastes I, I don't know it's weird because the ingredients didn't look that bad, but that taste just like completely artificial, you know. Um, I don't, I don't even know what that tastes like. It's, 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 it's like tastes synthetic or something. But I didn't really see anything sketchy like that on the ingredient list. Um, I guess it's whatever they're trying to use to make it taste like a donut. I, I, don't, I don't know. Taste. Taste, I'm, I'm giving this thing a one. I've never done that before. I'm giving this thing a one on taste because it just tastes weird and not natural. I, I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's bizarre. Um, and I drank water right before we started recording here too, so the palate is cleansed. Um, texture, um, not a lot going on there either. As you can see, you know, it's, it's pretty much you've got that chocolate coating on the outside and then some kind of um, supposed to be like the donut substance on the inside. It is soft, you know, I guess they're trying to make it seem like a donut. Um, but it, it is very soft, um, if that's what you're looking for. I like my bars a little tougher, so it takes me longer to eat it, so I don't just chow it down in like 20 seconds. Um, so there's not going a lot not, not a lot going on there with texture. It's, you know, other than the silky creaminess of that chocolate, whatever it is on the outside, um, that was, for me, the best part, was the, the smooth, silky smoothness of that chocolatey on the outside. Um, and then you've got some, whatever, donut-y, gelatinous stuff on the inside. Uh, so taste a one, texture, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a five for texture because there's, there's there's nothing going on there either. All right, so let's review here. Ingredients, we liked the ingredients. Protein content was right where it should be. Macros were a little out of balance for what I would like to see. Um, calorie count, right where it should be, 190. Taste sucked. Texture sucked. All right, so overall score, uh, geez, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a six. A six, and only because of the protein uh, source that they use in that is a good source. The milk protein isolate and the whey protein isolate is good. Uh, the calories are right where it should be. Um, the macros are a little off balance, but not a big deal. So it's getting a six. If it didn't have a good quality protein source and you know not 20 grams of protein in it, I, I would totally trash this thing because of the bizarre taste and the texture not much going on there, um, but yeah. So we're giving it a six. All right, there it is. Quest Chocolate Sprinkled Donut. Getting a six from Protein Bar Review Guy. 
All right, remember to like and subscribe. We'll check you later.